Hello my sweet summer children, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another installment of Kinda Cool, a series where I tell you about things that I think are kinda cool because you are very cool and you deserve to be surrounded by things that are kinda cool. I traveled a lot this past month and I feel like this month flew by way faster than it should have, so if you wanna see where I trotted off to around the globe, stay tuned till the end of this video for some bonus vlog content. Up first on my list this month are wired headphones. I have finally regressed backwards. I have denounced my wireless headphones in the name of wired headphones. And this is purely for utilitarian purposes, not for aesthetic purposes. I feel like my AirPods are always dead or dying. And second, I always need to be able to hear what's going on around me. And also I needed something that I can beat up and throw around in my purse, something I'm comfortable getting tangled and tossing around. So these were the perfect solution. I don't know why we let tech companies convince us that we needed to forego wires. I miss the wires. I like the wires and these have been the best for a daily carry. They're obviously not great for traveling, but that's okay. As far as daily use goes, I've been really enjoying having these on me at all times. This reminds me of early YouTube. You see it? Another favorite of mine has been barley tea. I've been drinking barley tea more than I've been drinking water and I did Google it. It's totally fine if you do that as far as I know, but this summer I've been drinking barley tea every single day. And if you've never had barley tea, it's a non-caffeinated tea that is popular in Korea, Japan, China, and it has this really, really nice roasted nutty flavor. It's so refreshing, especially if you drink it iced, which I do. And I tend to mix my water bottle half with barley tea half with water and it just helps me drink water more because if you're anything like me I think the taste of water is a little bit boring so I need some sort of flavor in there to help me drink more of it and barley tea has been very very refreshing this summer it's not sweet so I can drink it very quickly and not get a toothache but it also helps with digestion and it allegedly also has vitamin C so it's supposed to increase your immunity as well as your antioxidants so overall I think it's pretty good for you I try to drink water alongside it so I'm not only drinking tea all day but it's so delicious and addicting and very refreshing so I highly recommend drinking barley tea my next favorite is actually inspired by my dear friend Hazuki who visited her family in Japan this summer and while she was abroad she ended up sending me two postcards Cards, which was such a treat to receive in the mail. I also loved that receiving those little postcards was like getting a time capsule or a snippet of her thoughts while she was on vacation. And it's just like a little moment of time preserved on a small piece of paper that traveled halfway across the world back to me. And I think there's something really beautiful about that. I also wanna adopt this into my own travel routine, maybe even sending postcards back to myself so that I can record my thoughts while I'm on a trip or use them as little keepsakes and little moments of time that I can look back on in the future. So thank you Hazuki for taking the time to send me those two postcards. I will cherish them forever. They are so special to me and I think we should bring back writing letters to friends. The last thing that I think is kind of cool are lychee which is my favorite summer fruit. I am addicted to lychee. I have been since I was a kid and in my humble opinion as a person born and raised on the Big Island, I think the Big Island has the best lychee in the entire world. If you've never had lychee, it's kind of a hard flavor to describe, but I would describe it as something really sweet, a little floral, and a little bit citrusy. If you've ever had like dragon eye or rambutan, it's very similar to that, but I think lychee is a lot sweeter and it's just the best fruit ever. It's a limited time of year making it even more special. And I think if you've never tried it, it's a fruit that you have to try. On top of lychee, I also love mango. I actually grew up on an old mango farm in Kona. So mango is something that I've always grown up eating and I feel very blessed and very fortunate to have grown up in a place where fruit is so abundant. So I've been enjoying a lot of summer fruits, but specifically lychee, which is the best summer fruit in my opinion. My intentions for July are to spend time with myself in a more holistic and wellness focused matter. I feel like I spend an adequate amount of time alone, but a lot of that alone time is spent being brainless and kind of doom scrolling too much. So I want to return to my body, to my brain, to my spirit. And what that looks like in practice is staying off of my screens for a little bit longer, reading outside, going for walks, 
looking at the clouds, journaling a lot, maybe doing some yoga to move my body like I'm supposed to, which I'm not very good or consistent at. But I am trying to be more intentional this month, so hopefully you guys can help keep me accountable. But that is all I have for you today. I appreciate you endlessly, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, yeah. yeah.